Welcome back to the What's Up podcast, everybody. I'm X the One Zero One, your host, and today we are joined by Skull member, fellow World of Tanks player, and Twitch streamer Skull. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Skull streams World of Tanks primarily, and also a couple of other games, I believe. Uh, Skull, what other games do you stream on Twitch? Uh, pretty much anything I'm up to or in the mood for, but at the moment it would be Euro Truck Simulator just to wind down from the uh, the World of Tanks stress. Fair enough, and you can find him over at twitch.tv forward slash skull member. Um, don't forget to go drop by his chat, say hello, check him out. Today's topic is regarding TeamSpeak and Discord. We are comparing the usage of both TeamSpeak and Discord in the World of Tanks community, primarily amongst clans, um, and what their impact has been on clans since the introduction of both softwares and, and the game, or applications and the game. Skull, what's your experience with TeamSpeak and Discord? I, I mean, I started off with TeamSpeak. I've used it for the longest time with multiple games. Right. Uh, of course, clans, they make you use TeamSpeak. But when I started streaming and then Discord came along, I kind of went for Discord. It's a lot more user-friendly and easier to manage with the, the Twitch application and everything together. Right, right. Just for those who don't know, what what is TeamSpeak and Discord? Well, TeamSpeak and Discord are both uh, voice over internet protocols, basically. So it allows you to communicate with people via voice um, and via text, technically speaking, on both uh, with other people so that you can keep in touch with your clan mates, your squad mates, whatever it might be. Um, some key features of TeamSpeak is you have multiple channels, you know, for voice chats. Uh, you can also type in them. Uh, but people need to be online to hear you or see those messages. Um, there's no, and there was an offline sort of messaging feature, but my experience, nobody really used them. Did anybody use them in your experience, Skull? No, no, nobody used. I them. think the interface was quite dated and like it was. What's the word? Um, hard to navigate around, especially if you didn't know all the ins and outs and all the features. Most people just use it solely for voice communication basically they'd log into world of tanks they'd log into TeamSpeak. they'd jump into a social room or general room or whatever they wanted to call it depending on what clan you're in and they'd just chill and talk with other clan mates while they platoon or play skirmishes or whatever right um discord on the other hand has quite a lot more features to be honest um which would explain why some people with lower spec pcs struggled running it they have uh text channels which you can see even if you're like online offline you've got statuses You've got uh, direct messages with people. You've got private chats with people. You can uh, private call people. You can get the phone application for free, which is a huge thing for me. Um, there's emotes, reactions. There's a bunch of features for Discord. Um, and it's clearly targeted, at least from my experience, it's definitely targeted towards a younger audience than TeamSpeak was. Um, what are your thoughts on that, Skull? I agree that it's targeted to younger people because if you look at the colors, it's very vibrant, very in your face. And if you right. don't put TeamSpeak next to it, it's holding up this very old, let's say, word colors. Yeah. Very bright gray, not a lot of things going on. If there's emotes in the chat, which is barely used, it's very tiny. Right. You have it's, to... it's basically made for VoIP. Yeah. Which you can tell. And I mean, when, like you said earlier, TeamSpeak was there. And then, you know, now we have Discord, but in between there, you had like Mumble and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Didn't really all, catch on, I don't think. It did it? No, yeah. Um, I think that primarily came back to the fact that those other softwares and applications didn't have much to provide compared to TeamSpeak. Yeah. And people were just so accustomed to TeamSpeak and they were just like, you know what? We've been using TeamSpeak for ages. Let's stick to it. And I think you still get a bit of that in some communities nowadays. Um, but, it's, the, it's the older communities that stick with it. Yeah, I think likely. it's probably just because they're so accustomed to it and they don't like moving on to all the bright and, uh, vibrant, bright colors, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing that I did notice about TeamSpeak was, you know, they still have like roles and permissions all available. Um, but if I remember correctly, there's lots of little loopholes if you don't do the permissions correctly where people can literally become server admin more or less in some servers because of how bad the permissions were there um that's a huge thing about discord as well it's just so much more easier and simpler to get all your what's the word markup done on your messages to set up channels and permissions and roles and whatnot compared to teamspeak but yeah, teamspeak is. is definitely more simplistic in the overall design i think mm -hmm. yeah Discord is pretty much you set it up, you're done with it. You don't have to really think about it. 
Right. Well, team speak, it feels like you constantly need to make sure that you've set it up properly and that everybody has the right um, roles to get into places and the permissions. And Discord just made it very easy. They just called it roles. You can name whatever you want your role to be and you, you do it once. Right. And you assign someone to it, it's done. I also love the feature that Discord have of being able to clone channels and roles as well. That's uh, yes. that's definitely a huge benefit. And I think the biggest thing is TeamSpeak Free has been around for so long that it's sort of just gone stale. Like the developers don't really bother adding new features to it. They're too busy trying to create, what is it, TeamSpeak 5, I think they called it, right? Yes, um, oh. To try and compete with Discord instead of actually working on TeamSpeak Free. Um, how do you think clans are going to respond to that, that you release TeamSpeak 5 if they're trying to create it as some sort of alternative for Discord? I think if you have a clan that doesn't really care about putting information out, but only for uh, communications during clan battles or clan wars or strongholds, then I think the people that are using TeamSpeak right now are going to stick with TeamSpeak right. doing the switch to Discord because they have no need for these text messages and channels where you can right. put pictures in and emotes. So they'll probably stick right. to what they're known because it's easier and it's all set up. Right. Regarding easier, I'd probably say it's just because it's more natural for them since they're so used to it. Like, you know, setting up... A common example, right? Clans that have clan activities on a daily or weekly basis, right? Some sort of routine. They've all always have some sort of timetable, so to speak, right? I'm not sure about at yeah. though, but... My experience over in Unique Legacy, uh, What Uni, and now in my own clan as well, and a couple of others, they all have some sort of general structure, like certain times, certain day, they have certain clan activities going on. Um, yeah. And I remember trying to edit the TeamSpeak channels, and the first time I had to do it, it was, oh, it was it was a headache. You'd have to like learn up, learn a bit of markup and whatnot, um, and it was it was kind of here and there a bit of html coding i think in the background there in terms of css and whatnot so it was a bit of a headache um especially if you're a younger person just trying to get your head around it it's by younger i mean someone younger to team speak as in no experience using team speak whereas yeah. discord it's as simple as you know you can create a word document screenshot and then put it up or whatever right or save it and then upload it um i think it's ease of use which is which is uh the fight here really teamspeak has simplicity but discord has ease of use um yeah and, and more you can just do more yeah with discord, a lot more yeah uh but moving on what are the benefits of teamspeak in your opinion like overall like what's it like um i would say like i said um if you most clients like philo they have their own website they have everything sorted so everything that needs to be posted is on the website itself so then TeamSpeak is just easy because all you need to do is you you start it up it doesn't use as much ram as other things do like discord so it's just you start it up you jump in as long as your person has set it up you're good you can join and talk and you don't have to really think of any bleeps or things going on because there is it's just bare minimum right right that's what it feels like have you ever found that to hold the community back in any way though like the fact that there's no real solid way of contacting people that go offline or you know there's no text channel do you ever find that that holds the community back in any way shape or form i i think it does i used to have a team speak channel for when i was streaming and everything right and we we stopped paying for it and we went to discord because that they need to be there they need to be online to see your messages to hear messages and there is no other way of getting to them if they're not online right so it's just not helpful so it definitely holds you back you're better off jumping to discord because you can make a channel you can make a text channel you can put your stuff in there and it, people can just go onto it and read back every single time you want like put on rules they can read it right i think that's oh, yeah. one of the one of the other things because of team like you'll notice a lot of the especially the older clans right they all have this sort of like, you know, they've got a Facebook group, they might have a WhatsApp group, you know, um, they've got some sort of email group or whatever, right? Like, uh, I know a lot of clans have Facebook groups, right? Just to keep in touch. Um, and they'll have like little sort of messenger group chats between their combat officers and whatnot and their executives, right? And I think this is, this is like one of the reasons that I dislike TeamSpeak a bit is because you have to branch out to other 
platforms so to speak and other yeah, yeah. applications just to be able to keep in touch in the background like on the admin side of the clan right um, especially in larger communities and i think that's one of the reasons i dislike it because then you have to not just only add have someone to maintain the team speak server but then you have to have someone moderating the facebook group you have to have people watching everyone on the facebook messenger groups as well um, and personally, me, I'm not a fan of Facebook, especially with the entire thing that went on about security <laughs> and whatnot, right? I'm not a huge fan of Facebook. Um, so, you know, setting up a Facebook account just for that was kind of at first very uncomfortable, especially when you're a younger person and your experience with Facebook has been, oh, don't use Facebook. It's full of a bunch of creeps and full of uh, information stealing and all that sort of stuff, right? And like, so at first when I was really young, I was like, yeah, I don't really want to set up a Facebook account, you know? Um, I guess that's not so much of an issue as you grow up, but, you know, at first when that's your experience and also just having to maintain all of that and make sure that all of it's running smoothly and being used appropriately is also another thing. Um, yeah. And also personally, the fact that, you know, if you have a messenger group or a Facebook group, then you have to now give away your actual name to clan members who you may not want to give your name to, you know. Um, but. I think that's one of my gripes with TeamSpeak. The fact that it spreads you out across other softwares just to cover for its own flaws um, or for its own lack of features, so to speak, you know? Um, and I definitely think Discord makes... Like, Discord realized this was an issue with TeamSpeak, I think, and they capitalized on that because you can add people to your friends list. Like, the contact list on Discord is so much more better than, than uh, TeamSpeak because you can add people as friends and you can block people on TeamSpeak, but it's just like... All it does is change the color of their name, and that's about it, really, right? I don't think it does much more, um, yeah. unless you really it, go into it. It is definitely like tailored to the gamers for today. Yeah, compared to Teamspeak. Teamspeak was when I grew up and everything. Teamspeak was the way to go. I right, you know, that's the thing that I used, and it's everything. And then, you know, the people grew on, and then they used other stuff because they know Teamspeak is limited right and but for some people that is why they like it it's just a voice chat the simplicity of it yeah Yeah. that's it it's straightforward no extra features no no uh no eye candy here and there to distract you it's just straightforward to the point and minimalistic right yeah and the codec quality is really really good on right right uh speaking of that you've used discord and teamspeak both right Yes. I what's your What's your experience with Discord? Like, where do you use Discord? What do you use it for? I use Discord for my own streaming channel. Right. Um, of course, people who stream as well, I use their channel as well, and some games that will have it on. So, basically, I mainly use Discord for pretty much everything I do, except uh, my clan. Right. So, World Team Tanks. Speaks for your well, the Tanks clan, for the Fido yes. clan um and then discord is more for you know streaming community and some other games that may not be using TeamSpeak. um yes i'm guessing those are probably the newer games that are out there uh, like is, rainbow yeah, six the kind of stuff, yeah. warzone those sort of games right where there's yeah. a younger player base who are more accustomed to discord because of the extra features right yeah um how does the codec quality of both work uh, like compare in your opinion like in terms of quality of voice and microphones how how does it compare in your opinion i've noticed that discord has gone gradually up from i mean when discord started the quality was let's say lacking right <laughs> and it, it's gone up and but it's still not to where i would say teamspeak starts teamspeak is very high quality there is no people don't really spike out when someone is right. loud discord you know discord will let it right, spike right all the way up into your ear and TeamSpeak kind of lowers it down already for you and keeps it on a very nice level and very high quality. Right. You'll hear, you'll hear someone like they are compared to Discord, but as for TeamSpeak, you mostly pay for it, so they can probably also go... Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, could that be because, because of the fact that Discord hosts all their servers for you, whereas on TeamSpeak, you need to pay someone to host it for you or you need to host it yourself? Um, could it just yeah. be the bandwidth they have available? Therefore, they have to limit. Um, I think because how much? I, I think because Teamspeak has pretty much nothing going on. When right, you have the there's server, no extra there stuff nothing. on the server. Yeah, yeah, so you can boost the code quality for it. Right, and instead of Discord, where you got pictures loading, you got people messaging, videos going on, all that kind of stuff. So the bandwidth is full of 
clutter when TeamSpeak has just people talking. Right, because of course Discord actually, I, I'm pretty sure Discord actually puts all your messages in a cache folder somewhere hidden deep within the directory, I'm pretty sure. Um, Not like, sure about that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I stumbled upon it once actually. They save a lot of the files to your computer. Um, once you like view like images, they'll save it to your computer so that it can preload it quicker instead of having to do it through the server. That's one of the ways they deal with uh, load times. Because you'll notice the load times, considering how many messages there are, the load times aren't actually that bad on Discord in the text channels, right? Um, no. Especially in ones where there's lots of images. And that's because they like sort of download it into a cache folder onto your PC in the directory. Um, which is a bit of a security concern for some people, right? Because if someone yeah. posts something inappropriate, for example, on your server, then that gets saved into a cache folder. Um, and you have to manually go delete that potentially, um, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Um, you which notice is... it as well that Discord goes, um, when you're talking once, like every hour, someone in your Discord channel will go into... Just the lag out, right? Yeah, or yeah. Lag out. Yeah, and it's, it's really weird. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's like one of the only advantages, in my opinion, that TeamSpeak has over yeah. Discord is audio quality. Just because there's less bandwidth being used up for everything else. Yeah. And the server just doesn't get overloaded by anything else and it can accommodate more people. Like if you put 20 people in a voice chat on Discord compared to 20 people on a voice chat in TeamSpeak. There's a difference. There's yeah. A difference. Um, one time, me and a bunch of my friends, right, while I was streaming, we wanted to sing happy birthday for one of my streamer friends, right? As a, as a joke, we were intentionally trying to sing really bad. But because it was like six of us in the same channel, all talking at the same time, at the same time, very loudly, like it just completely distorted everything. And it was just so cringe. It was terrible. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's really weird with Discord yeah i think if discord could fix that issue that they have of audio quality i think it would be like a huge level up for them over team speak yeah um well, and i know i think you can increase the bit rate of channels you can but certain... that's and i think you actually get like more of a boost if you nitro boost your server but of course that's where it's now a matter of paying for features um which is why people prefer discord over team speak because it was free and you don't have to host it manually yourself right mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on that the entire uh, nitro boosting of discord and all the extra features from a company side i can see why they did the nitro bit and because they're free and they need to make money somewhere so from their side i can see why they would do it i think on a user base level it's not good because you don't get what is possible you have to pay for it so it's behind the paywall Right. Which, for a user side, is not good. For a company side, I 100% understand. Right, right. Like, I mean, looking at this, right? Just looking at the server boost status for Discord, right? You've got yeah. you got three levels. Each level provides new perks. Um, to get the first level, you need two boosts. To get the second level, you need 15 boosts. To get the last level, you need 30 boosts, right? That's and you're looking at, at 30... At, at 30 boosts right and i think it's what like five quid a month or so yeah so if 30 people put in five quid every month right you get 100 new server emoji slots right so a total of 250 custom emojis on your server yeah. you get a vanity url so when you're like putting out invites and stuff you get your own custom url so for example if philo had a discord it would be discord.gg forward slash philo or whatever right or philo community yeah. like you could have something custom like that um the audio quality gets boosted to 384 kilobits per second that's a big jump up because that is a big jump up from uh, what it is currently currently i think it's like 60 or 90 or something i'll check in a moment yeah, like um and you also get a 100 megabyte upload limit for all members um so the largest size file you can upload is 100 megabytes you know if you get a level one boost you get a custom server invite background so you can have a custom image on the invite link you can get an animated server icon uh and you can you know how they've got the stream feature one of the other features of discord over teamspeak is you can stream directly to th the channel that you're in right um yeah. which is helpful for like showing people how to do stuff in your clan or whatever right um but you can like basically it's stuck at 720p 30 fps if you boost to the first level you get 720p 60 fps that's a huge jump that's um, a nice job. You get server banner on the second boost. You get 1080p 60fps stream on level two. 
like yeah the boosts definitely like you know provide their advantages but is it really worth having people pay for these sort of things um there's a lot of hoo-ha around it I yeah think, when you it boost. is right there's a lot of stuff that for me i would not be interested like in. the server emoji starts i wouldn't yeah i wouldn't be bothered in that but I would also be interested in the banner. Yeah. The ID is kind of nice because it looks good when it comes up in the chat. Right. Um, but I, the only thing I would be interested in is the uh, the bitrate going up. The bitrate, yeah, definitely. Because audio, right? Um, For yeah. me, personally, I think the the streaming into channels being 1080p, F, uh, 60 FPS, that's okay. a huge thing for me because sometimes I have clan members that come in too late for clan activities and they want to watch. And yeah. I don't really want to stream to Twitch because then I have to set everything up. And instead, I can just click a button and stream directly into, nice into the channel. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think like stuff like the emojis, custom emojis, custom URL, server banner, server icon, all those sort of stuff. Um, I think those stuff really just come in towards like, you know, when you have a really large community. Like, you know, if you're someone big. Like, I don't know, yeah. let's say Dr. Disrespect or, I don't know, like, someone huge on Twitch, like Pokemane or whoever, right? If you're also someone like, that's up there, then I think that's where it matters because it's every little edge counts, right? But down here, I don't know. I think, I think like I said, it's, it's for the younger generation. If you get the older generation, like, even my generation, which is I'm part, apparently, of millennials, but let's not go into that. <laughs> um... Even me, I would, like I said, I'm only interested in the bitrate. Right. But I know that there's probably a lot of people that would be absolutely happy about more emotes to spam for no. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> right. Like, as as a younger person and with a fairly young average age in my clan, yeah, they definitely love spamming <laughs> emotes, right? Like, can't deny that at all. Because uh, if you look at my channel, you'll find maybe one two people that use a, a, a smiley face on someone's post and that's about it most people just type and say oh nice one right there's right not, i guess not a lot of us that use the emote things i guess what you're saying is i need to start spamming emotes in your server right <laughs> yeah, <you could>. <laughs> <laughs> right anyways moving on um yeah. so realistically what we're saying is team speak is better if you're looking for something just solely for the voice interaction while everyone's online but yeah, if you're looking definitely. for something to stay in touch across the board and it's free to use where you don't have to pay someone to host your server and it's easy to set up the server real quick, then probably Discord's the way you want to go, right? Yeah. Right. I think for games like uh, World of Tanks, uh, Arma, or like military games, then right. TeamSpeak would be perfect because you get high quality, no distortion when you, right. you, know, you, you need them. Where, so where voice really right. matters and nothing else... I'd say 100% team speak. But right. if you have anything with a community behind it and you want to post or something, you know, that you're going live, right. you want to show your progress, I, I definitely would say Discord. Is it worth having both running? Like, have the team speak for people who are online and have the Discord for when people are like offline, sort of thing? Or is that just too much? What do you think? I, I think you're better off than doing team speak and like, like you said, like Facebook a Facebook group. Yeah, 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 definitely. Then you have the two parts. If you use Discord, use Discord. <laughs> right, exactly. Discord merges both, but with a, cu a couple yeah. of cuts here and there with the voice, specifically it's, speaking. Yeah, it's right. It's, oof. <laughs> All right. Well, let's say let's say you're looking at starting up a clan, or you run a clan currently, right? Um, yeah. How would you best use TeamSpeak or Discord? We'll, we'll, hit, we'll tackle both one by one. How would you best use Discord, right? Let's start off with Discord for running your clan. Like, what would you do if you had to, if you started up a clan and you had to set up a Discord server, what are the sort of key things you'd probably like have on the, ch on the server, so to speak? What do you think? Yeah. First thing I'm going to say is before I get lynched by my exo, I don't run the clan. I'm just the uh, combat officer <laughs> <laughs> or else I'm going to get lynched. Right, 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 right. I can definitely understand that that's fine <laughs> but yeah i would if i would start up a clan uh, and i would need to choose from what i'm gonna use i'd probably go in discord right just because i can put stuff up like rules and everything so i would definitely say that discord is pretty much at the moment i think that it's gonna be the main used and i think team is probably as it already is doing slowly die out Right. I think that partially comes down to a lot of older people are either like not playing as often now. Yeah. 
or a lot of younger people are playing a lot more often now. So it just sort of boosts the number of people using Discord over TeamSpeak sort of thing, right? Yeah. I mean, we have to step away for the younger generations, I guess. <laughs> right. <laughs> I get that. Um, so, like, from my perspective, like, how, how would you maximize the usage of Discord for a clan? What do you think? Um, what are like sort of key channels or key permissions to have set up? Any 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 opinion on that? Of course, I know you have more experience using Defin TeamSpeak, but definitely for running uh, clan battles because then you can um, give people ranks on you know FC, right? What clan they're going to be in, um, you know the uh, how loud they are and all the kind of stuff, right? Compared to if the FC talks that everybody dims that down to pretty much nothing, right? As right. Discord has that as well. Like a priority, a priority speaker, speak? yeah, yeah, that's the like one. Discord. I think that's on Teamspeak actually. Priority speaker. Yeah, it's also on Discord now. Yeah, but it is, it isn't it? But it doesn't work as well. It's kind of a. I don't know. I don't think they've got it right yet because for some right. reason, when yeah, yeah. you speak, you can still hear everybody just as loud, pretty much. But except right. the one person has like. I think it's time. more of a matter of it turns everyone else's voice down for yeah. them as opposed to you, so yeah. that they hear you above everyone else, but you still hear all of them equally. Um, yeah, I, I get why I, they I, do that. I do think that using Discord as clan battles is perfectly fine as well because you can make your channels, of course, private. Right. But like you said, there's going to be a lot of people talking at the same time, and if you do, if the server doesn't have the bandwidth, you're going to get distortion. Right. Yeah. Let's then go on, go on. Which then kind of puts me back to Teamspeak because. You can have, I don't know, what last time what did we have? We had over 30 people and everybody was talking and right. there was no distortion. Like, I mean, I remember the days in the... You remember Sir Havoc, I assume, right? Yes, I do. I, I remember the days back in his community, right? And, and I, know, I, I know a lot of Philo members, like Dead Edge, for example, um, mm -hmm. used to be over in uh, the What Uni community and the Havoc community, right, as well. What yeah. Uni 1, What Uni 2, Havoc X, Havoc 2, Havoc 3, Havoc 4, Havoc 5, right? Yeah. Um, and then they had the NA clans, they had the SEA clans, um, and there was like at least a thousand members online on a good day on Teams. Like, give or take around a thousand people online, like 800 to a thousand people. Not all at the same time, of course, but yeah. on some days you'd really get a lot of people online on the server, especially in the prime time of those communities, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it was insane just seeing how many people were online. Now, if you had the same amount of people online on one Discord server, you would not be able to get a word in. It would all be robot voices everywhere, I think. And I also think the loading times would take up a long time. Oh, because yeah. the more channels you join, the longer your startup is. Because if you, if you notice when you just get Discord and you have one channel that you're in... It instantly it boots up. up, right. Boom. I have around 15 at the moment, or even more. Right. And it will take me up to about three to five minutes. I think I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty. Yeah, I've got a lot of channels, yeah, a lot so of servers, right? It takes right? a while to start up, and you notice that when you get in channels where uh, I have a channel where there's pretty much every minute someone uploads a picture. Right. Those every <laughs> day it feels like it gets longer and longer to start up those. Right. Servers. Right. Um, here's an example. So on my on my clan server, right. Um, and staying more on how how clans can best use TeamSpeak or Discord. Regarding yeah. TeamSpeak, I think there's if you want sort of constant communication, even when people are offline, you're better off going for Discord. Yes. Um, but on TeamSpeak, you definitely want to have some sort of hierarchy for roles, right? You want a server yeah. admin, you want you know your CEOs, Everything. have them have priority speakers, have all your channels, you know, for your clan battles, your platoons, um, have some sort of channel up where it's just sort of where people can upload files like rule documents and whatnot, I think, for TeamSpeak. Um, mm -hmm. And that's why I prefer Discord over TeamSpeak because it's a bit easier to find those things. Um, yes. Like, I'd like to see Discord and, and TeamSpeak more as, like, TeamSpeak is, like, this suit business you're going to go into, get a nice suit, everything is organized, there's a few people there, and everything is just tight. Streamlined and tight, super, yeah. Super tight. And then you go into a gaming store, where there's loads of noise, loads of hectic stuff going on, rather busy, and there's just things everywhere. Right. So it That's doesn't how I quite. See yeah. Right. Exactly. I get that. I get that. Um, but looking at my clan, for example, right for for Discord, for, so for anyone out there that wants to run a community or run a clan, or you know you want to mix your clan with your streaming community, whatever, right, whatever it might be. Yeah. If you want some sort of overall community, it might be more than one clan. It might be 
you know your streaming community a couple of other streamers or it might just be you and a bunch of friends you know whatever it is right but if if you're looking solely for something where you know it's like a clan environment where you've got daily activities going on and whatever else this is this is my personal opinion for for discord regarding world of tanks clans right you want to have some sort of voice channel and text channel for your executive officers right a text channel and a voice channel which only your executive officers can join talk in and read right or type in right so you can talk about executive stuff without anyone throwing in extra messages and whatever else that way you can keep in touch even when some of you are offline some of you are online you can still talk to each other intermittent intermittently so to speak um the other thing you want is some sort of announcement role Sorry, announcement yeah. channels so that you can put up clan announcements for clan activities or whatever it is, right? Anything regarding the clan where everyone is required or whatever, it's like clan wars, for example, you want some sort of channel where everyone can see when that's out there. One of the things I do in my community is I have an announcement channel and I have a yes, no sort of system for reactions, right? So I'll put out a message a day before and I'll ask people to put a thumbs up if they're going to turn up, a thumbs down if they can't turn up, and a thinking emoji if they're unsure, and then they can change that whenever they can confirm. That way I know how many people to expect, what day to expect them on, right? Keeps everything moving on. Um, one of the big things about Discord that I like over TeamSpeak is the number of, like, bots and extensions you get. Like, you can have, self, uh, like, role self-assigned sort of bots. You can have moderation bots. It helps out drastically, in my opinion. Um, mm-hmm. Of course... This TeamSpeak doesn't have as much of a problem because there aren't as many text channels where you can constantly like post messages, so you don't have to moderate as much. But this helps to balance the fact that you need to mod- moderate more and also takes a bit of the pressure off of you, takes a bit of the load off, you know. Um, so I have a role self-assign channel where, you know, it's just a bot. You add a reaction for tier 8 tanks, tier 10 tanks, depending on what you have, it'll give you your roles. Have something like that, some sort of system in place. Um, of course, we've got a channel just for roles, timetable channel resource channel uh, heck we have meeting notes you don't really need to go that far um, but then just have some sort of place where players can lounge around so some sort of social room yes and then some sort of room for just the clan activities at the very least you know you need one for just socializing one for platooning and one for like clan wars or clan battles sort of thing of course you can have more things in between like you know officer channels specifically for recruitment intelligence personnel whatever right um you could have you know members only channel you know and if you want to go above and beyond you can have like extra stuff uh for your members right like a lot of my members do music production so one of the channels i've set up is a music production room where they can post images they can post files of what they're working on and give each other feedback you know um that sort of thing is like you know going above and beyond for your community and i think that's where discord really comes in the fact that you can do that whereas on team speak yeah. it's a bit harder to do that right i have I have a good example of that is when Philo, of course, has Philo and Philo 2, Philo X. Right. Um, there was a bit of times that we said, hey, we're going to do clan battles or we're going to do uh, scrims and all that kind of stuff. Right. And we put it on the Facebook because, you know. Oh, let me, let me guess. Um, Not everybody has Facebook. Right. So some of people on Philo 2 or Philo X were like, well, we didn't know that was going on because we don't use Facebook. Right. And then there is no way you can put it anywhere else then. So that's where Discord would be very helpful. Yeah, where you're running. You have, everybody can join. Everybody can have a look. Yeah. At so you can put down, hey, we're going to do scrims. You know, any Philo, you're more than welcome to join. Going going back to that point of everybody can get Discord, right? Yeah. One of the huge things I prefer about Discord over TeamSpeak is now we know TeamSpeak is, you know, mainly used on PC, right? Or on a yes. desktop, right? Or on laptop, right? But there is also a mobile version, right? But you have to pay for that. If I remember correctly, it was something like it wasn't too expensive, but it was still, you know, um, not, not great right. that you have to pay for it, whereas it's free on PC. Um, yeah. as opposed to Discord, which you can get for free on mobile and on your computer, right? Um, Mac and It works Windows. really well on uh, the Discord r- works really well on mobile. Though. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's like really well optimized for it. And that's what I love about it, right? Because I could turn around to my clan members and be like, look, if you can't make it to a clan activity, let me know before six o'clock. And they're like, Oh, but I'm I won't be home. I'm like, yeah, but you can get Discord on your phone. They're like, oh right, yeah, I forgot. It's like it's a huge thing because you can keep in touch with people even when they're like, you know, 
um, one of my clan members, for example, he goes, sh uh, he goes fishing regularly. Like he'll go out on fishing trips, he'll camp out and whatnot, right? Yeah. Um, for like two, three days, every month, right? Even then, I can still keep in touch with him because he's still got his phone. So if something comes up, something urgent in the clan comes up, and I need his opinion because he's like a he's an executive officer, right? So if I need his opinion on something, like what do you think we should do about this person, right? They've been acting up, whatever, right? Let's say someone's giving us grief. I can still contact him and get his opinion in. Instead of just making that call myself and then, you know, having a disagreement with an officer later, right? And I think yeah. I think that's the huge difference. Discord helps you keep in touch even when all of you aren't online, whereas TeamSpeak is more for in the moment sort of thing, right? Yeah, I think it's more, yeah, like you said, it's more literally for the communication right. while you're there um, and nothing else. Personally, what's your preference for communities? Discord. Discord? 100% Discord because like we mentioned, you can just put everything on it right um i had to get used to it that's that's i have to yeah take it's a bit of a learning be curve. honest yeah i had i was first thing when it came out i was like i don't like this it looks very childish the colors are everywhere right because I, only thing i used was team speak right and i wasn't a fan of it and people budged me to do it and just to use it and just go for it and try it and i absolutely hated it in the beginning because well, I had to get over the how colorful it was. For me, it was a bit of a, a Fortnite in VoIP. Right, I get what you mean. I mean, so, realistically speaking, if you really wanted to, you could set like different roles, but have all the roles still having you know black text. You know, yes. I know they turned colorblind mode. Uh, sorry, not colorblind. Um, what was it? Light mode off. That was that was a huge thing. The moment they ch changed light mode off, they made it very clear that this wasn't Teamspeak, uh, two point basically, right? Um, yeah. The moment they made it like dark theme consistently, it's like, oh, this is different from TeamSpeak now, you know? Um, that's one of my biggest gripes with TeamSpeak. It's just so bright and harsh in the eye, especially if you're like late night gaming with your friends. It's, oh. But yeah, that's the thing. You're supposed to have TeamSpeak minimized realistically, right? It's not supposed yeah, to be up for you just, to constantly check. You have it running in the background. Right. Which Discord, you pretty much have up on the, if you have another screen, you have it up on another screen. You have probably a text channel open so you can read what people post and everything. Mm. While Discord is just generally shoved into a box underneath your, uh, <laughs> under your <laughs> underneath game. your game. Yeah, you can't <laughs> see it. Um, it's not supposed to look pretty at all, right? No. What's the um, functionality? So again, biggest benefit for Teamspeak would probably have been the, the bit what's rate. the word? the bit rate of the audio quality, right? The codec. Yeah, the audio quality. Yeah, um, what do you think was the most useful feature about TeamSpeak while it was like the prime thing that people used to use? Was it just the audio quality or was there something else about it? The roles are very, 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 very specific. Right. You can put every little tiny thing into it. Right. So it was kind of nice that it had roles and everything that were very specific because you can put up like, I don't know how many roles on one person if you wanted to. Right. I think that's like the biggest reason why it took off more than Skype did within the gaming community and like yeah. Mumble and any of the other things just purely yeah. because of roles, right? The roles. And I think because it was so minimalistic, but it worked so well and the right. audio quality was just so good. Right. Um, what about Discord? The most, if you had to pick one feature that you value the most on Discord, what would it be? Exactly what you said, the uh, the live streaming in a channel. Live streaming in channel? Ooh. Yeah. I think I'd probably say maybe just the, like, the uh, I think the feature of it having so many extensions is also a huge thing for me. Yeah. I just, when I'm not streaming or anything, I'm playing with friends, I ask them, hey, what game are you playing? Would you mind streaming it on the channel so I can watch as well? Right. Because I like to watch, see what the game is like, and if they have it, they, you know, I can see it or they can explain me stuff. Yeah. And it's just... It's just a huge bump because you can just watch. Well, pulling this entire conversation to an end, um, what would you say is, you know, a possible improvement you could make? Like, if you had to pick one thing that could be improved on Discord or on TeamSeek, I'm pretty sure I know what you're going to say for Discord already. Um, if, you could, if you could improve one thing for TeamSeek or Discord to help clans and to be more useful for clans, what would it be? Uh, on on TeamSpeak, it has to be the channels to to put stuff in. So right. chat channels, right? Better that you can use offline as well. Right, some sort of way of keeping in touch when yeah people are offline. Yeah, and for Discord, Discord it's got to be the audio, right? It's got to be that yeah, bit rate. The audio, yeah, it's got to be the audio. The bit rate has to go up a yeah. hell of a lot, or less of the 
like beeps and things. Oh, right, yeah, like when you're pu- pressing push to talk and it goes ding, yeah. so you know you're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like someone sends a message in a channel, you get the option Bing. to mute everything. Or, or the option to mute nothing. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think you can mute individual channels actually. Um, just by right clicking on the channel, you get to mute them. But it's like then you have to go through every single channel yeah. and mute them one by one. It's like. Mm. And then sometimes I don't want the channel muted, and then yeah, yeah it's just it's figuring. Just, yeah, I get that. It's a bit of a struggle sometimes. Yeah, but yeah, I the bit that. rate, one hundred percent the bit rate. That that yeah, that's probably got to be my main one for Discord. Get the bit rate up, and for Teamspeak, give us a, a way to make a channel so that people can just post stuff in easier. Right. Definitely. Once again, guys. Um, TeamSpeak, if you're looking just for in-the-moment sort of communication and you're looking for high audio quality, if you're looking for something where you can stay more in touch even when some of you are offline or you're not gaming, then probably Discord because you have the text channels, you have all the roles, um, and it's definitely a bit more up-to-date in terms of features, yes. um, especially with extensions like Go Live notifications for streamers um, and a bunch of other stuff like role self-assign, applications, yeah. it's the f- And the fact that you can get it on mobile. It's that's a huge thing for me, I think. Um, yes. Skull, thanks for joining us for this conversation. Um, Thank you for having me. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it, guys. Don't forget, you can catch Skull on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Skull member. Skull, what days do you go live on? Is there any I stream specific from times? Monday to Fridays, and if I stream on Saturday, Sunday, this is more like a surprise stream. But from Mondays, any specific Fridays, time zone, or is it just um, around ten o'clock? Uh, ten o'clock UK time. UK time? Right, cool. Guys, don't forget to go pop by, say hello to him there. Uh, If you haven't, if you want to ask him about anything he might have said here, ask him your questions in this chat. You can also catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash xta101. Come let me know what topics you want to hear next. And if you have any guests that you'd like to see on the podcast, guys, this is the What's Up podcast, the World of Tanks podcast that gives you everything related to World of Tanks. Catch you in the next episode. Take care. See you soon.